Hey guys, I'm Fantastic Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So, if you didn't watch the 2x2 two two video, I'm going to go over some basic stuff. What you see in the background is letters that represent moves on the cube. So, R is right, L is left, F is front, B is back, and then um, U is up, and D is down. So... And also in a three by three, these four pieces here are corners. They have three piece, three colors on each side. And then these are edge pieces. And then the middle is a center piece. No matter how you move the cube, um, white will be opposite of yellow, blue will be opposite of green, and then red will be opposite of orange. So you can't change that no matter how you move the cube. It will always be the same. So your first step is to get a white cross, which is basically all four of those edge pieces and center piece being white. So what you do is let's, and also um, the edge piece being lined up with the center piece. So look for a white piece. Let's say there's one on top, like there is mine. So you see this is white and then red. So then we move the center piece until that's lined up with red and then that piece is basically solved. So if you look over here, that blue piece, even though it is white, there is blue and that doesn't line up with the orange. And you can't just move it because that'd mess up the red. So what I like to do is to move it all the way to the bottom. And then it's the blue piece right there and then line it up there. So then that's lined up and then that's white. And then you can just bring it to the top and then you'll still have red solved and have blue. So we look for another edge piece. Okay, there's one. So we move it to, this is orange, so we line it up with orange. And then you do a short move like this, just to get that out of the way, and then that puts it to the bottom. So we see it right here. We need to get that orange piece over there. That's lined up, white piece is on the bottom. Bring it to the top, and then we still have everything solved plus the orange piece. And then the final step, okay, that's the green piece. Get it to the bottom, line it up with the center piece, right at the top. And then you have the first step across. Next step is to get this entire layer and the white side solved. So basically all we have to do is insert these white corners into the right spots. So you can't just put any corner in any spot because then that won't line up with the center piece and won't be correct. So let's find a corner piece here that's white and then you have orange and blue. So put the orange and blue between the orange and the blue center piece and then do the algorithm. R prime, D prime, R, D. And then just like the two by two, it won't solve right away. Keep doing that until it lines up the corner like that. So then you have one corner basically solved. Then you look for another one. Okay, here's a easy one. We got white, red, and green. So move that to where it's at. Okay, so that's red, green, red, green, white's at the bottom. So then do the algorithm. R prime D prime R D. So we look for the two next center pieces, I mean corner pieces. That one is orange green. Put it in between orange green, orange green, and that puts it in this place. And then we almost have white solved. So we put, it can be in the bottom too. So we see it's the only piece left, so obviously it's it. And then put it below R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. So then you have this side solved, plus all the center pieces matched up in that entire layer. So the next step is a little bit tricky. What you do is, there's actually two different cases and two different algorithms for this step. So what you do, if it has right moves in it, it's, so that's the right algorithm, that's the left. You can easily tell because, um, oh.
because the right algorithm will have right moves in it and the left algorithm will have left moves in it. It's pretty self-explanatory. So what we do is, this is how we're gonna be facing Q the entire time. This white, put it on the bottom, so the yellow side should be facing up. So basically we're trying to solve the second layer, which is this layer right here. And if it has, so what you do is if it has yellow on it, it means it's in the top layer because it's part of yellow. So we need the, the second layer. So you see this piece doesn't have yellow on it, orange, gr orange, green. So line that up with the center piece. And then look, if I move it like this, it lines up with green, but we can't do that because it messes up white. So basically we need to get this piece into here by doing the left algorithm. So U prime, L prime, U, L, U, and then it's it puts that piece in its place. So basically you keep doing that until the entire layer is solved. Red piece, line up with the red center piece. Blue goes to the left. So we do the left algorithm and then blue, orange, line that up, blue goes to the right. So then we do that algorithm. U, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, U prime, F. So then see that put that piece in its right place. So we're almost done with the second layer. We find the last piece and see we put it there, orange, green I mean, and that solves the second layer. So one weird case you can have is let's say we don't have the entire second layer solved yet and there's there's a yellow on every single one of these pieces. Then that's fine. That normally means that one of the edges is in its place but it's flipped. So what you do is you put it to where the flip piece is facing you and then you do the right algorithm. Next, we had to solve, well, this layer still needs to be solved and the white side but we need to have the yellow cross. So basically what we did the white, but we can't just move in pieces because that would mess up everything. So there's either one of three cases. You can have just a dot. So if we're looking at just a cross, you can have just a dot in the center, an L like I have, or a line straight across. So if you have a dot, just don't do anything, do the following algorithm. If you have an L, then put it to where mine is, right here and if you have a line just have it facing horizontally so we face the l hold it like this and then we do f r u r prime u prime f prime so then what that did is if you had the dot case that just made it an l if you had the l case made it into a line if you had the line case then the cross is already solved and you're fine just wait till the next step so put the line if it's like this, it wouldn't be correct. So you gotta make it like this. And then do the same algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then you see, you might think it's solved, but this layer's not solved. Normally those have the cross, but that's just a weird case you can get. So next step is to line up these center pieces. So what you do is normally, well always there'll be two center pieces that line up. So basically you move the top layer and look to see if their center center piece is lining up. So what, and there's another weird case to where there's a line up there and there, that's opposite. So basically you hold it to where one's on the left and one side's on, one pair's on the left, one side's on the right and do that algorithm. But normally it'll just be two next to each other. So let's pretend like this is a pair, orange is a pair. So then you put one in the top and then one in the right, and then do the algorithm. But since we have the pair here, we'll do the algorithm. And that didn't mess anything up, it shouldn't. And then since we had the opposites, that makes one pair now like next to each other. So you move the top layer and Okay, so we see blues here, reds here. Put one at the top, one at the right, and then do the algorithm. R U, R prime U, R U two, R prime. And then just move it and all the center should be solved.
So the next step's kind of tricky because you can't mess anything here or the cross. You just have to move those four corners to be lined up. So what we need here is not necessarily in, but in its place. So this, since it's red, blue, we need that in between red and blue. So we look around, see if any are already in its place, which some of them will be. If not, you just do this algorithm and then there will be in pairs. So you see here, there's orange and blue, then yellow, and then orange and blue. So then we face that towards us and do the algorithm. And then sometimes you have to do it a couple times, sometimes you won't. So what we see here is that bottom layer is still solved and then this layer is solved. There's just these two pieces that are, so blue, blue orange, blue orange, and then blue red, blue red. So now, unlike the first cross where you can just move the cube and put them in their place, so you see that's there, so just do the first algorithm, which we started with, and hold it like this to where it's facing you, not where it's solved here, but where you're trying to put it in. So then R prime, D prime, R, D, do that until it's in its place. But you'll see that, oh, it messed stuff up. That's fine. Don't move the cube or else you'll mess it up. So what you have to do is move this top layer to where the next cube is in. It, I know it looks weird, but you have to move the top layer to where it's there. Don't move the entire cube. And then you see that R prime, D prime, R, D, you just do that until it goes in its place and then the cube is solved. Normally this might take, for to learn, you might have to replay the video, stop the video. It might take three, four hours to learn, but eventually it will work and you will have a solved cube. Thanks for watching.